Let's begin by entering the numbers on the stack. 9, enter, 7, enter, 5, enter, 3, enter, 1, enter, 8, enter, 6, enter, 4, enter. Now we have the numbers in the stack the way we have seen them before. But instead of having these numbers, let me delete them with this key. The drop key, this one, eliminates the one at the bottom. When I push it, observe what happens here on the stack. The element at the very bottom, the last one to enter, is eliminated. 4 is gone, 6 is gone, 8 is gone. Every time I push this key, I am eliminating the one at the bottom. If I want to clear the stack altogether, I use this del in green. Delete. Green key. Delete. Poof. All the elements of the stack are gone. Let's try again. Let me enter numbers. 99. Enter 88, enter 77, enter 66, enter 55, 44, 33, 22, and 11. That way, we can see more easily which number is in what level. We see that the number 44 is in level 4, and we are about to start reorganizing them. The next thing to do is to swap the two values at the very bottom of the stack, this one and this one, the two values in levels 1 and 2. How do you swap with this key? Wait a minute, that is the right arrow key. Sure it is, but that is the right arrow key only when you are editing something. If you're not editing, this key is a swap key, observe. Swap, 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 swap. You see what happens? It does not affect any other element in any part of the stack but the two at the bottom. And we have learned how to swap the two elements at the bottom. Is that all I can do? Oh no, you can do many other things. If you use the up arrow key, like this one, click, this little triangle appears on the screen at the very bottom of the stack and you can move that. That is defined the top of the stack operation. Observe, I'm going up with that let's say to position 5, to the level 5 of the stack. And once I'm there, I can do many, many things. For instance, I can roll down with this key, key F. Roll down does, well, I better show you. Everybody will be dropped starting in 5. Above 5, all the levels will be left alone. But observe what happens roll down, when I, I push roll down. Roll down. So you see... What was in level 5 was dropped to level 4. What was in level 4 was dropped to level 3. Level 2 went to level 1. And what was in level 1 went all the way to the top to level 5. So it's really rolling down. See? It's rolling down. Okay. I can roll up as well with this key. Roll up. Rolling up. Yeah. What was in level 1 went to level 2. Level 2 to level 3 etc. And what was in level 5, which is the top of my roll right now, is defined by that little triangle, that value when of that rolled stack. I can continue to roll up. Yeah, absolutely. Eventually I'll have my stack in the same order it was before. So I know how to swap, I know how to roll down, I know how to roll up. Remember, you roll as many elements as you defined with this little triangle set with the up arrow key. Hmm, what is this edit? Well, you can edit any value in the stack. Let's say that I don't like this 88. I want that to be 188. I move the little triangle to that position there to level 8 and then I say edit that, click edit that and now we can actually change that to anything I want. Let's say I want that to be 1188. Enter. Ready. Now that value there, level 8, is 1188. And you can do the same to every level of the stack. What is this pick? Well, pick means 
that perhaps you're interested in copying one value that's already in the stack and put that, entering that at the bottom, replicating, let's say, level 5. Well, let me move to level 5, which points to this 55, and let me pick that value. Observe what happens. Pick. The 55 was copied and pushed at the very bottom, so I can operate on that or do whatever I need to do with it. And that was the stack. Oh, what if I don't use this up arrow to make these functions appear so that I can do things to the stack? Let me escape for a moment. Escape. Well, you always have the stack functions under this programming menu. Green, programming menu. Observe that under function F1, you have stack operations. Click there and you have duplicate. Duplicate is actually the same as enter. You have swap, swap, you have drop. Well, drop is just delete the one at the bottom. It's the same as this key, drop. And you have many, many others. If you want to see more of them, go to the next key and you see the rest of the menu. You see roll, roll down, pick, uh, unpick, pick three, depth, and so many other things. Many, many other things. For instance, depth tells you how many how many values are on the stack here this nine tells you there are nine values on the stack just by asking the depth of the stack let me delete that value at the bottom and with this i think we have sufficient for a first encounter with a stack of your hp 50g and hp 49g plus thank you very much